Key developments in trauma care in the last decade, they've been conceptual, they've been technological and they've been organisational. So key concepts have included ABC, airway, breathing, circulation, to CABC, where the first C stands for catastrophic haemorrhage before airway, breathing, circulation. But we've had a lot of uh, development in resuscitation concepts too. We've introduced the concept of damage control resuscitation, hemostatic resuscitation, right turn resuscitation, 3D resuscitation, so a whole series of new concepts have come in in the last decade. Alongside concepts we've had organisational changes, we've introduced new levels of capability. A good example of that has been the Army Team Medic, where we've introduced one in four of uh, combat soldiers have uh, an enhanced level of first aid training and an enhanced level of equipment, particularly directed at addressing the catastrophic haemorrhage managing the airway uh, and treating a breathing problem uh, from a, a penetrating chest wound. Other organisational advances uh, have been uh, on the medical emergency response team. So effectively projecting a team forward from the hospital to point of wounding to give hospital level care as the patient is flown back to the field hospital. And uh, that has included uh, the use of blood products, so plasma and red cells as the first fluids uh, that the patient receives uh, as they uh, start the resuscitation. And then the, the third element uh, has been about technology. We've had a lot of technological uh, advances and a key one again around uh, haemorrhage has been the introdu introduction of a tourniquet uh, for every individual uh, soldier and the introduction of topical haemostatics, so uh, bandages impregnated with an active agent when pushed into a big wound actually stops the heavy bleed. I think key areas that the Defence Medical Services are seeking new developments are in areas to lighten the load, to take the advances that we managed to achieve after 10 years of campaigning in Afghanistan and make sure that we can do those in a small manoeuvrable field hospital right from day one of a new operation. So three particular areas we're focusing on for lightening the load. One is about imaging. How do we turn a CT scanner that we have to uh, carry in an ISO container into something that fits into a suitcase or even better a briefcase but still give us the same imaging capability? Then it's about our cold chain. The further forward we get with our manoeuvrable uh, medical facilities, uh, the, the less reliable is our cold chain. So keeping the blood products cool. So are there alternatives that we can use to the wet blood products? And indeed there are. We're already making advances in using freeze-dried plasma uh, and in using uh, dried uh, uh, blood clotting products. And the third element uh, that we're, we're trying to introduce is an improvement in our point of care diagnostics, in getting a lab in a bag or a biomedical scientist with a Bergen and to get that sophistication that we carry in a field hospital far forward in terms of our supporting diagnostics.